Hello, Gabe Heller here again. Uh, Jiho and Zorn on YouTube and Hannah Brown Couch on Twitch. And something else came in the mail. This is something I asked for for Christmas. Um, it is it is not a new mobile F4L. It is what is in this box, uh, which was made by like an independent dude who makes project things. Um, now, I have a concern here. It says XE. This is from my Atari, which is an XL. Um, but as far as I know, that just means the style, and actually, I saved the money because they didn't have any XL-style ones left. So, uh, I intended for this to not be an XE-style one, or any style, but I intended for it to not to have a box at all. Uh, so we'll see what actually is in the package here. Uh, and it's, it's possible that that's just styling, you know, and they're all the same. They all work on XEs and XLs, regardless. Uh, but this is a Fujinet, what it should be. We'll see if that's what it is. It says Fujinet on it. Hurrah! So the idea is that this plugs into my old Atari computer and emulates basically all the devices that you could plug into your device port. So it emulates eight disk drives, several uh, as many cassette drives as you can have, maybe only one, a modem, and uh, maybe there's even something else that you can plug into that port. I don't remember. Uh, but so we're hope I'm hoping that that's what it will do. So, uh, but before I go to the trouble of building a box for it, I kind of want to be sure that it's going to work. Uh, oh, well, that could be a problem because that's where you plug it in. So I could just put some put some screws through here through these two holes, I suppose, and then this would stay on. Um, but I think ideally I want to at least put a make a back plate for it. Because I think ordinarily the back plate would go in here, and that's why it's not screwed together, is so that you have room to put your your piece of whatever in there. Uh, and then there's also a cover that goes over the side, and it, it's styled like the various uh, Atari computers uh, that it would plug into. Hmm. Well, let me see what I can do with that. Um, now, it's not going to I don't have the right color plastic for my Atari, any extra of it. Uh, I could potentially, I do have a friend with a 3D printer, uh, and I believe that it's possible to print stuff out. But I just want to, before I go to that trouble, I just want to test this, and I just want to have a certain, just a little, a little protection there. So let me see what I can find. Okay, so I have a cottage cheese container lid here. Um, I think I probably want to trace the outline of that onto it. And also the holes. Okay, there we go. Now, I don't want to cut out the whole of it. Actually, what I want to cut out is something about this shape. So we'll try and line that up. Centered, I hope. Okay, hopefully that will do it. If I cut that out, and the holes, then this will get sandwiched in there and, uh, you know, protect stuff the way it ought to. So I have a protective cutting board here, though I suspect, hmm, I don't know if that will be strong enough. Go, we've cut that out. Does that fit over that? Yes, it does. Excellent. Okay, and then we just need to drill out these holes. Is this 
just the right size? Probably a little bigger. Maybe even a little bigger than that? No, that's, oh, well actually that's very, very close to exactly right. I thought it was not going in, but it was actually stuck. Uh oh, please don't. Please don't do that. You are lined up right, aren't you? Please go back in. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay, that's actually perfect. I probably want something to drill through into. This is not going to work. This is a rather nice piece of wood, but it does already have one hole in it, so if I'm careful, maybe I can just drill kind of near to that hole. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Where's my battery? Okay, the battery is in the charger, so that is nice and good. Okay, cool. So, does it line up properly? I think I want it to go this way. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Now we just need to get some kind of bolt and nut. Two of them. Let's see what we've got here. I want the, the bolt on this side, and we want as flat ahead as possible so that it doesn't run into any part of the Atari and not connect properly. That one's relatively good, if I can find a nut for it, that is. Uh, it might not need to be quite that long. Let's see here. How long is that? That is a bit longer than necessary. Okay, but that's still a good option. That's another possibility. Ooh, I like that one. Find another one of those. Yeah. Okay, now do I have nuts for those? <laughs> Don't have nearly as many nuts as bolts. Those are probably still too big. Yeah. Wing nuts. Here's one. It's a little rusty. It's just slightly too big still. Ooh, what about that one? Not sure the thread is the right pitch. I don't see any others. Ooh. Not too big for that one. Work for any of the others? It's even too big for that one. Okay, that's just way too big. Also these weird ones, but I don't know if I want to be using these weird ones. I think they're too small anyway. Ooh. I saw some smaller ones. It's too small for that one, but maybe it'll be the right size for some of these really small ones. Aha! Okay. Well, it's got a bit of a big top, but we're going to have to try it. Oh, it's not quite long enough. Let's give me a one that's a bit longer. That's the same thread. This one? No, no, that is too small. Uh, this one. Oh, yeah. That one looks good. Okay.
Now this one still doesn't quite work, does it? I wonder if that will be far enough. No, I don't think so. I could put a washer on it. I just looked at nuts first, huh? Do I have any that fit this nut? Weird. It doesn't fit. It's very long. It fits perfectly though, and it has a nice flat head. Okay, we'll use this one. It's going to stick out a bit, but not on the side that matters. There, there we go. I could go get a screwdriver, but the knife is right here, and it's working fine. All righty. Seems to be held in place nicely. It's protected. We can plug this side into the Atari computer without worrying about what it might uh, run into. Uh, all this metal is protected, and uh, it's no longer falling apart. So I'm going to give it a try. We'll see what happens. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, it's quite easy to store. I just put it in a pint container. But let's take it out now. There it is again. And here we have our Atari 800XL. Uh, unplug the disk drive, like so, and plug this in instead. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to turn on the DVD recorder here. So we should be able to see the output. And let's turn it on and see what happens. Good. Hey, it's loading stuff. You can hear it beeping. All right. Welcome to FujiNet. And there we have all of the Wi-Fi in my neighborhood. Uh, the one at the top is obviously mine. Enter password. Connecting to Net. Connected to network. Yay! Alrighty. Uh, so let's see. I believe we can go to fujinet.online. Aha! We have Atari disk images from the internet. Uh, let's see. Games, maybe? Let's see if it's in games. How about... Caverns of Mars. Um, read only or read write? Um, I guess we'll do read only. We'll see if that works. Uh, there's a Caverns of Mars 2. So maybe I need to put that in the second disk drive? I don't know. It might be also the sequel. I don't know. Okay. And uh, then option boot, huh? Oh, my option key is stuck down. Uh, let me see if I can fix that. I did that in time. Caverns of Mars. I've never played this game. Okay, uh, probably start. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, it's like a dodge -em. Oh, looks like I can shoot, too. Oh, and I'm running out of fuel, so I better be shooting fuel. That wasn't fuel. Oh, no! Okay. Uh, maybe, rather than try and hit things, I'll just hold down the fire button, because I'm always firing. And, uh, fortunately, the collision detection on the Atari is on a pixel-by-pixel -pixel basis, so you can get really close to things like I did just there. That is a little too close. Um, but you don't have hit boxes. It actually takes the shape of the sprite and sees if it flies with any particular colors. 
on the screen. Oh, that was close. I'm not gonna go for that. Oh, okay, now it's a space shooter. Uh, that's kind of neat that it's... Oh! I was able to shoot some of them. Oh, this is the new level. Okay, so this is where I start now, I guess. There's no fuel here, as far as I can tell. I guess those things take two shots or something. Or some of them are harder to shoot than others. Those are some of Ah! Oh! I went back too soon. Okay! 13700. Cool. Now let's see what else we can do. Uh, what happens if I reset? Uh oh. Okay, so we're stuck in Caverns of Mars until we. The power cycle, I guess? Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything in the... Yeah, it's empty. Probably because I don't have a, a disc in there. Yeah. Um, how do I go back? Escape? Okay, there we go. I wonder what other things there are here. Party 8 bit what do they got on this site? Cassettes? I never had any cassettes. Arkanoid! Let's see what happens. Um, huh. Can I mount a cassette to this? Will that work? Well, I guess we'll find out. Can I load it as if off a cassette? I never had a cassette, we always had disk drives. Uh oh, I was holding option down. Okay, option is unstuck. Reset. Did we get a cassette loading? No, we did not. Oh well. Will this get us back to... nope. Will this get us back? Yeah, no, it takes us there. Hmm. Okay, well I guess power cycling again. Okay, let's see. What else do they have? Copiers? Copy made XC sector copier. Ooh, I might be able to copy discs. I don't have the disk drive hooked up at the moment. But I might be able to, uh, to copy some of my discs for posterity. What games do they have? High score enabled. Fancy. Ooh, pinball construction set. That's one I've not been able to play in a while. Connect four. Light cycles. Ooh, I always like light cycle games. Okay. Let's see if this works. Do what? No cartridge. Do what? Run? Nope. What if I just run? P colon cycles. It's possible that because I have an Excel which has basic built in, it'll just work. Nope. I don't know how OSS DOS XL works. Help? Yeah, I don't know. Well, search for that one. We can try 
uploading from DOS and then putting the cycles disk in drive B, drive D2 colon, and see what we get. Uh, this will be interesting. Okay, so we have DOS. Let's say DOS 2.5. Okay. Yep, yeah, there we go. And then we go back. And major games. Light cycles. APR. Now get here. Okay, and then we boot when we get. Hopefully we get DOS 2.5. Okay, then let's see if we can get a directory. Um, D2. Yes! Let's try binary load. Load from what style? D2 colon cycle. Bad load file. Okay, well, that's not going to work. I don't know enough about how to make this work. Okay. I was just having better luck, I think, with the stuff that was here. So let's see what else there might be. Holmes CD, huh? What's that going to be? Oh my goodness. That's a lot of games. Uh, let's put under C. There's a lot of games. Well, this is where all the games are. I suppose I could use filter. I'm almost where to the game I'm looking for. Maybe I am. There's a lot of things that start with CO. It's not here. Cranston Manor is not here. Oh well. Let's try Cosmic Zap. Okay, let's see what happens. We'll put a K in the corner of the screen. Oh my god. Cascade Games Limited presents Cosmic Zap. Press tr trigger. Okay. Ah! Maybe I'm supposed to have a... Maybe I'm supposed to have a paddle for this game? No? Okay. That means I'm just going to be intro. It is Cosmic. Okay, I can shoot my fishy camera. Maybe I only need to shoot them once. I was just having trouble with my shots being intercepted. Let's try that again. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, I see. I'm getting closer and closer to the center. Just 
slow down when I'm shooting? I think they do. Yeah. I wonder if I'm having a hard time. Nope. It just locks up after a bit. I wonder if they have the worst game I ever played. I've been looking for a copy of this game. I'm pretty sure I got rid of mine, but now I'm like, wow, people might want to actually watch me play the worst game I've ever played. So let's see if they have Fog. Oh my god, Fog is so bad. Um, where was it? It was the home CD. And it was games. It would be under F. And let's try the filter. F-O-G. No. Okay. So, back. What did they have Mule? I wasn't able to find my copy of Mule last time. Uh, filter. M-U-L-E. No. Hmm. Oh, I can hit greater than for next page. <laughs> there we go. Mule! There we go, it just didn't fight it, so they might have had it. I don't know why. The filter didn't show it. Maybe it needs stars or something? Alright, let's go. Play Mule. Is it gonna work? Electronic arts, so there might be some kind of copy protection. Nope, it's Mule, alright. I don't think my version had all had this much in it. Spheroid, okay, I'm a spheroid. Oh, I can select something else. Uh, let's be this guy. Yeah, a Megatron. Megatron, sorry. Everyone's Megatron! It'd be hard to remember. Oh well. Save by toy on the planet Dorada. I'm pretty sure this is a more recent version than the one I played. So I don't remember picking my species. I seem to remember you desperately want a, uh, a river tile. I'm blue, I think. So we'll go 
back in six months. Land Grant. I think I got one. Usually, you don't get them. Usually the, the computer gets theirs first. Pink must know something we don't. $50 gambling, okay. My turn. Okay. So, pretty sure you want food. You need money equals, you need a mule. Okay. How do I get a mule? Okay, I have a mule. Cool. Aha! That's right, you outfit the mule. Okay. Okay, mule installed, doing food on the river tile. I think that's what you're supposed to do. I guess then we go in the pub. And I want $85 gambling, cool. Mining? Mining the planes? They want a lot gambling. You received an extra plot of land to encourage colony development? That doesn't seem fair. Especially since he's also got a river. Energy output is increased. That's if you have a solar thing. Okay, press all clear buttons to go on. Okay. So. Smithor. Store has no units. And neither do I. I don't think I want to buy. Nobody wants to sell, so that's fine. Okay, we press buttons. Oh, this is if I, in case I wanted to buy. And I don't think I need to buy any Smith ore. Or maybe I'll buy just a little bit. Yeah, no, they're there. The store is not selling, so it doesn't matter. Okay, food. Aha! Doing good on food. Ooh, spoilage. Production? Aha! Store has 16 units. Okay. Definitely want to be selling this. He's going to go sell. I'll sell one, but I don't want to be a critical. That's good enough. I hit the button to say I'm done, or do we have to wait? I think we have to wait for everybody.
Energy. Aha. Energy does not spoil, thankfully. So he uses more energy because he has an extra mule. So I want to sell him one unit, I, th I believe. And I'm the only one selling, so I can wait for him to go up as high as he wants. Unless someone's going to change their mind. There we go. <laughs> He's thinking about it. Okay. Now it may I may have a problem because I'm gonna have another mule next turn. <laughs> Oops. I'm in third place. There we go. I want solar. So we go in order of how well we're doing. Interesting. Okay. A distant relative died and left you a vast fortune. But after taxes, <laughs> you only got a hundred dollars. Okay. So, we want a mule. We're gonna get the mule outfitted for solar. And we're going up here. Cool. And if we go into the pub earlier, maybe we get more money at the pub? Maybe? I don't know. Hard to be sure. Sunspot activity. Energy output has increased. Wow, that's a lot of energy. Smith ore. <laughs> Sell at the store. Cool. Food. I have plenty of food. Everyone else is very low on food. Ha! Now we make the money. Does it say how many units the store has? The store has 21 units. Okay, so I've got to sell it. I've got to undersell the store. That's it. 
it's all right. You're all gonna have to buy from the store. Everyone has plenty of energy. Everybody has a surplus. I don't want to sell it for 10. It doesn't spoil. Everyone wants to sell. <laughs> They're going to sell. I don't know, energy never spoils. Okay, I'm in second place. I think that's all I'm going to play in this game. It's a fun game, but uh, I don't want to burden you with too much of it. I want to see if I can find fog. Now that I know that the filter doesn't work the way I thought it did. Maybe folks not there. Let's see what we got. No, oh, there is no fog. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll spare you that then. What can I play instead? Forbidden Forest? Forgotten Island? Let's try Forbidden Forest. Payloader. Okay, I guess I run away. Oh wow, I can shoot. Okay, that's neat. Nope. That's not how you shoot. time aiming and shooting. Can I go up? No, nope. I can only go left and right. Wow. I have a hard time determining telling the difference between aiming left and right and going left and right. Hmm. Okay, well, try something else. I like the colors in that one. So what FujiNet apps are. An IRC client, COVID, election, Fuji News. Let's see what Fuji News is. Oh, there's weather. Let's try weather. Can we get weather? On our Atari computer.
connection error. Well, maybe that doesn't work. I couldn't find a safe configuration. I may need the, uh, the card for the Fujinet app side, but it's expecting a card. Probably one of these buttons actually does the reset. I haven't tried any of the buttons on the device yet. Hmm. Nope. It may reset it, but... I don't know that it resets what loads. Oh, okay, cool. One of the buttons did the thing. So what I wonder is, is there a terminal program? Networking? Flicker turn. Sure. Let's try flicker turn. I've never used it before. It might be good. Goodness, I think it's going to try and do 80 columns. ATZ error, huh? Uh, AT? Okay. AT, DT, uh, nethack.alt.org. Connecting to nethack.alt.org. Is that hack.alt.org still around? No carrier. Darn it. Hmm. Talnetalt.org. Okay. So it's just alt.org now. That's all that's left. <laughs> okay, let's try that. A T D T. Let's see if that works. It's not looking promising. No carrier. Darn it. That is unfortunate. I must need to set something up in order to use this. Oh well. Uh, well, the disk is pretty much full now, so I guess that's it for now. It seems to work, so I guess I'm going to build a box for it, and maybe I'll make a video of me building a box for it. But that's, that's Fujinet. You can play all the games that there ever was on the Atari, except for Cranston Manor and Fog. Um, so, yep. Bye for now. Just to let you know, this video is over soon. So rub your eyes and stretch your thighs and sing in tune. It's time to find another kind of video. For this one is nearly done, you know.